Hi, my name is Rob and I'm the webmaster of ironspider.ca and today I'm going to show you how to take the default installation of the Firefox web browser and restore that classic look. Um, if you're like me, uh, you probably don't appreciate a lot of the changes that have been made over the years to the Firefox user interface. Uh, for example, um, there's no more status bar. Here's the status bar that appears along the bottom of the browser. Um, they took that away, so let's just take that away. Bye bye. And um, the home button, the home button does not appear on the left side where it should, but now appears on the right side. Uh, there's no history button. There's no reload button. There's no activity indicator. Um, there's also a search bar, which I find redundant. Put that up there. Uh, what else did they do? Um, they put the tabs on top of the location bar instead of below where they should be. And finally, worst of all, they took away the file menu bar. Ouch! So that's what your Firefox browser looks like when you first install it. This ultra minimized Google Chrome um, dysfunctional program, <laughs> in my humble opinion. And I'm gonna show you how to restore the classic look, all right? All right, let's start out by installing Firefox from scratch. Uh, for this, we're gonna have to use the Internet Explorer. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, okay, open up Internet Explorer, go to Google, type in Firefox, go to the Firefox website, and download the latest version. Today is Tuesday, March, or rather Tuesday, August 16th. The latest version uh, available as of this date is Firefox 6. So you click on that, save it to your hard drive, and Bob's your uncle. All right, now that's going to take a few minutes. Well, let's just assume that you've already saved it to your hard drive, and here we are in the downloads um, uh, directory. Firefox setup six. Click on that. Run that to install Firefox. And I'm just going to go with all the default settings. Uh, standard. Use Firefox as my default web browser, and it's installed. And we'll launch it right now give us the option to import some bookmarks and whatnot. I'm going to do that later, so I'm just going to select don't import anything and Firefox opens up. All right, let's wrestle this browser back to the way it's supposed to be, starting off with restoring the file menu bar, which typically appears along the top of web browsers, uh, file, edit, view, etc. Let's get that baby back in action. You do that by clicking on this orange Firefox button here. Uh, hovering over options and clicking on menu bar and there it is file edit view history the whole shebang the way uh, web browsers have been built since the beginning of time right I don't know why they decided to take that away like I said there's been this agenda to reduce or minimize the browser Chrome I don't necessarily agree with this agenda so that's what this tutorial is all about next let's put the tabs below the location bar the location bar is where you type in a web address and um, go to a website, for example, my website, okay? That's the location bar. And typically the tabs appear below the location bar. Let's restore that right now. Uh, you do that by clicking on view once again, toolbars, and click to clear the tabs on top option, all right? So that puts the tabs below the location bar, okay? So now we have all tabs below the location bar the way they're supposed to be. Okay, next. Um, Let's configure, or rather reconfigure, the navigation bar. The navigation bar is this area here where you know we have the back and forward button. And um, normally, you'd have a whole bunch of other buttons there too, including the home button, which now appears on the right side instead of on the left side where it's supposed to be. So let's put it back there now. You do that by right-clicking anywhere in an empty space next to the tab, okay? Right-clicking and clicking on Customize. And now we can drag and drop anything anywhere. So let's just drag and drop the home button over here to the left side. And while we're at it, let's um, drag and drop the reload button over here. And the stop button over here, both those are consolidated into one button. I don't know why they appear as two separate buttons when you're customizing. But um, that's the way it is, okay? You see that they consolidate into one button. And then when you're loading a web page, that turns into a stop button. When the web page stops loading, it turns back into a reload button, okay? So that's the deal with that. 
Now, uh, in the process, let's add a history button here and let's put a nice separator in between the history button and the stop reload button. And um, there's also a an activity indicator which tells you that something's happening with your web browser. It's, it's loading a page or something like that. Let's put that there. All right, so now we got a nice little navigation bar happening here below the file menu bar and below that are the tabs. Next, uh, the search bar. Um, called me old fashioned, but I just don't like having a search bar in my web browser. If I want to uh, do a search, all I have to do is just go directly to Google and do a search. So I don't need that. I find it redundant and it just creates some extra clutter, which, you know, I I don't want. And I know some of you are thinking, hey, Rob, you, you just created a whole bunch of clutter here. Uh, how can you complain about other clutter? Well, all I can say is this is the right kind of clutter and this is the wrong kind of clutter. So away it goes. How do you get rid of the search bar? You just simply right click anywhere in an empty space beside the tab bar click on customize and then just drag and drop the search bar off the browser interface into this little dialog here and that's it bye bye search bar all right next status bar where's my status bar yeah they took that away too i believe they took that away in firefox 4 there is no more status bar uh, the status bar for those who don't know is a bar that runs across the bottom of your web browser and gave you um, some handy information on what was happening with your web browser for example um, let's just use this new history button we created and go back to my website here um, ironspider.ca um, for example here's what happens in Firefox now when you hover over any link on a web page uh, you hover over a link and you see the web address of that link displayed in a little pop-up um, in the bottom left corner of your web browser. Um, that link or that web address used to appear in the status bar. That was one of the functions of the original status bar. Another function of the original status bar was to show you a little progress bar uh, indicating how much uh, a web page had downloaded. So for example if you're trying to download a slow loading web page and the progress bar got stuck halfway uh, you could see immediately that you know there was, there was nothing happening and then you could just abort the operation and try to load another web page. So that was another function of the original status bar. Uh, they took that all away. There is no more status bar. What they have now instead is um, what's known as the add-on bar. And you can enable that by clicking on view, toolbars, add-on bar. And then you have something that looks like the original status bar, but it's not. <laughs> what this is for is to uh, hold uh, icons for some extensions that you install so that you can have a quick and easy access to those extensions. That's why they call it the add-on bar. All right. Now, if you want to restore the original functionality um, to the status bar slash add-on bar, you'll have to install a special extension called status forever. So let's just go to Google, type in status number four ever and it's spelled with an A just like that status forever and go to their site see this is an example it's taking a while <laughs> I don't have any progress bar telling me what's going on okay so here we are status forever and uh, we got a button here add to Firefox add to Firefox to install this extension install now the status bar or rather the status for every extension has been installed restart Firefox and we now have a classic status bar let's just try that out uh, go back to my home page there ironspider.ca and hover over some links and as you can see the address of whatever link we hover over now appears in the status bar All right so that's how you restore the functionality of the status bar. All right, that's it. That's my tutorial on how to take the default installation of the Firefox web browser and restore that classic look, that classic look that many of us know and love but have been deprived of recently on account of the agenda of browser makers to um, generally discombobulate and minimize the browser Chrome. All right. Um, thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please. Give it a thumbs up and save it to your favorites. Ciao for now and have a good day.